came off the field and got chest bumped by two guys at once, and so I fell. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. But you know, fun being out there. It was the right place at the right time. You, you had a, when you look back at Virginia Tech this week, when you're in the meeting rooms and your practice, how did you impl implement those changes today? Is there something specific you set out to do defensively that worked for you today? Yeah, the preparation and execution uh, this week in practice was really big, and so uh, we spent a lot of time uh, breaking down film and, and just being able to execute, and we, we made sure that that was going to be our main priority for this week. How hard is it to come back after losing a game where you you know, at home, you don't expect to lose. I mean, I would imagine it would be pretty easy to feel sorry for yourself most of the week. Yeah, but at a place like this, it's not really that hard to come back just because you have an awful taste in your mouth. And we were glad the game was at noon so we can get out here early instead of waiting all day to play. And, you know, I think guys just really wanted to be back in the shoe. We had something to prove a little bit. So we'll Ryan Chase here out in the defensive huddle a couple times. What, what did he say to you guys? And what was it like to have him out there with you? You know, it was just classic Ryan, just rooting everybody on, you know, telling us to, to just do our best, play our hardest. Um, it's really good. He's a good guy to have around because he's someone who showed uh, what it's like to come from a freshman with a lot of talent to be an actual good football player.